Welcome to Kizomba Rijana. Today we're doing a Kizomba beginner tutorial part two. So if you haven't done the first one, check the link in the description box below. The first movement we're going to do, we've actually done it in the first Kizomba tutorial for beginners. It's a balance. But in the first tutorial, we've done the balance going forward and back. Now we want to do the balance going side to side. So it's very simple. You're going to remember, relax, take your step, transfer your weight to the side, transfer your weight back and come back. Okay. This is how you do it towards the right. We can do exactly the same thing towards the left. We relax before stepping always take my step, transfer my weight to the left, transfer my weight back to the right and bring my feet together. Sounds good. So we're going one, two, three, and then maybe the other side, one, two, three, right side, one, two, three, left side, one, two, three. Very important here. You really want to make sure you're sitting down on the side, right? You don't want to point like this, point like that, or go like this or go like that. It's very important to use your articulation, so your knees and your hips, in order to make the movement as smooth as possible. So there's a difference between me doing this and this. The only difference is that I am using my hips and my knees in order to make the movement smoother and nicer, okay? So let's practice this with a basic two. We're starting with a basic two to the left. We're going one, two, three, four, then a balance it to the left, five, six, seven, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and a balance it to the other side, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, and step, 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 balance it, and back, and step, 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 step. Step and balance it and back. Step, step, balance it. That's balance it on the side. Very easy. Woo! Let's try all this with music. And balance it. Balance it. Balance it. Balance it. Balance it. The next step we're going to do is curidinho. Curidinho is actually a way of stepping. The term curidinho is also widely used as the name of this step. So this is how we're going to call it. Let's say I have the center of my circle beside me here. I'm going to walk around it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Basically, the number of steps that you're doing in your corridino or how big or how small you make it is really up to you. But you just have to make sure that you're using the right technique. So when you're walking, you want to make sure that you're angling your foot first. And you're also angling your torso. Okay. Then you're walking straight, angle, straight, angle, straight, angle, straight. Sounds good. So let's say for our Corridino, we're doing eight steps. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can also do the corridino going back. And it's exactly the same thing where you're going to angle your foot and your upper body and then walk straight, angle, straight, angle, straight, angle, straight, angle, straight. Oftentimes people, when I say to angle and then walk straight, they go like this. This is not what I'm asking you to do. What you want to do is that whenever you're going into your circle, as long as you are going into your circle, 
you want your torso to be angled, okay? Basically, your left foot will tell you the direction and the right foot will help you move forward. Sounds good? So again, we're going corridino. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Now you can do the corridino going back. So again, we're going with our left leg back. We're angling, walking straight, angling, walking straight, angling, walking straight, angling, walking straight, angling, and together, okay? Same thing, we're just shifting our momentum from going forward then to going back. One more time, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome, let's try it with music. We're gonna go basic three, one, two, three, one, two, three, Courir digno forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, forward. Then balance it forward. And we're going straight away. Courir digno at the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, back. Balance it back. And we're going to go into a basic three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Sounds good? So one more time. We're going basic three. One, two, three. Courir digno forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Balance. Courir digno back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Balance. And basic three. Two, three. One, two, three. Let's try it with music. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, one, two, three, one, again. The last move we're doing today is a quarter turn. We're using that same technique as the corridino for our first step. So we're angling our foot, but also angling our torso. Then we're gonna step towards the side and close. Again, angling the foot and the torso, step to the side and close. Again, angling the foot and the torso, step to the side and close, one, two, three. Good? One more time. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, and three. We're gonna do one basic two, one quarter turn. I will tell you when. So five, six, and basic two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and quarter turn, and one, two, Three, basic two, 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 and we're done. Let's try this with some music. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, 
one, two, here we go. Great job. So let's put everything together. We're gonna do a little routine, including those steps from the first beginner Kizomba tutorial that I have on this channel. So if you don't know it, make sure that you go to that video, learn those steps, and then come back. Go ahead, I'll wait. I have all day. If you've already done the first tutorial, while we're waiting, you might as well press the like button and subscribe. Okay, welcome back. Here we go. We're starting with a basic one. One, two, three, four, five, six, balance it. One, two, basic two. One, two, three, four, five, six, balance it. Basic two, three, four, five, six, basic three. One, two, three, one, Two, Kuridinho forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, balance, and one. Two, Kuridinho back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, balance, virgula, balance, check, check, virgula, pa, pa, balance, virgula, balance, virgula, balance, basic two and balance, and basic two. Okay, let's try all this with music. Basic one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, balance. Basic two, balance. Basic two, basic three. Curidinho. Balance. Curidinho. Balance. Virgula. Balance. Virgula. Balance. Virgula. Balance. Virgula. Balance. Basic two. Balance, basic two. Again. This is the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to practice it as much as possible. Practice as well the first Kizomba tutorial that I did, that is right here. And remember, life is better with Jinga. Ciao!